The band is called Outcry, the song is called Darkness, and this might just be a small rehearsal room in Bista. But this impressive performance could be the beginnings of something big. Ties the chief music and Coldplay Keen sort of music come together. I think the fact that Joe previously was from quite a heavy rock band, Dave's quite into his soul sort of music, um, and I'm more sort of classically trained on the piano. Um, that's how it sort of all comes together, really. And judges at the competition live and unsigned agree. The band are in the final 12 out of more than 10,000 applicants. Five judges, they like they assess your performance, your appearance, how you are on stage and stuff, your songwriting ability, vocal ability and stuff like that. Um, also there's an audience vote as well. Incredibly, the band are all self-taught and their first ever live performance was in this competition in front of 500 people. Quite an induction, but they didn't buckle under the pressure. Oh yeah, that is awesome, yeah, such a thrill. Um, live and unsigned, it's just a rush. I mean, before you go on there, you're like, dry mouth, you think you're nervous, you know, it's, it's all like that. But as soon as you get on there, it's like, it just feels completely natural for us. We're definitely enjoying it, yeah. This is like an amazing experience, really, playing in front of so many people. The band writes songs together, and this second, more mellow one is called Die Hard Lover. I'm in love the competition winner gets a recording contract and £20,000. And of course, no new band worth their salt is missing that prerequisite streak of swagger and arrogance. Oh, we're going to win. I mean, there's you know, no way we're not going to win. <laughs> Though, of course, if they do make it big, those answers will just look like cast iron self-belief. Gillian Kelly and Bista for Thames Valley tonight.